going on YouTube? Um, I just wanted to do a quick video for a lot of you new guys that have been getting um, comments and stuff about not being able to buy silver and not having the money to buy it and just basically being in the same boat that I'm in. Um, you know, money's tight. It's tight for everybody, whether you're a single guy or a guy with three kids and a mortgage to pay. Uh, money's tight and every little bit helps. Um, so what I decided to do was I posted an ad on Craigslist and I, I, I basically said I'm looking to buy your silver, not jewelry, not junk jewelry or anything like that. I'm looking to buy your uh, silver, whether it's junk silver coins or the bars or the rounds or anything you got silver related as long as it's, you know, and I, I gave him, I, I listed examples of exactly what I wanted. Um, you know, the 90% silver, 0.999% uh, silver, um, anything, it's 0.999 if it's a half an ounce or above, uh, I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the quarter ounces or the those uh, one-tenth ounces. I just don't see a point in that. Um, so I posted an ad on Craigslist, and I basically said, hey, if you're looking to sell your silver, I will pay you spot price exactly spot price uh, and I also told them the reality is no coin store or we buy gold store will give you anything near spot it's a business for them and they're in it to make money and I was honest in my head and I said I'm not in this to make well I guess technically I am in the long run but I'm in this to just save 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 and uh, sure enough a couple hours later I got a few emails from people uh, one guy in particular I actually met up with and I bought two dollars worth of junk off of him he has a hundred dollars worth of junk and he wanted to sell it all uh, I just told him hey look you know I'd love to but I don't have the money to do all that in one shot so if you're cool I'd like to meet up we do a small transaction get to know each other and uh, you know every couple of weeks or every week or whatever I can come meet up again pick up a couple more dollars so uh, next Friday I'm picking up uh, he said three, but I'm hopefully going to get at least five off of him. He seemed like a cool dude. But it's exactly spot. I, mean, I loaded up my app. He had his own app on his phone. We compared that our prices were the same. We agreed that, hey, that's that's fair enough. And uh, we did the math. I actually have an app that when you punch in a quarter, a 90% quarter, it tells you its exact value or a dime or, you know, Roosevelt dime or Barbara, you know, all that stuff. It tells you exactly what it's worth to the moment, to the T. And you can't go wrong. So the guy was happy. I was happy. I got silver at a very cheap price. Not a lot of it, but uh, I broke the ice. And uh, now I got another connection among the other guys who emailed me that had actual bars and stuff. Um, so if you're going to do a Craigslist transaction and you've never done one before, a couple of suggestions. First, always meet in a public place. And by a public place, I don't mean a parking lot. Um, don't meet in a parking lot. Don't meet anywhere outside. You want to go indoors, someplace where if you scream, they can hear you. <laughs> and if you scream, the guy has to go through a doorway to get out. So meet in a public place. Best place I've always, I mean, malls are my favorite place. They're big, they're open. Um, you can get something to eat while you're waiting. So I usually meet in the food court at the mall. Um, other than that, you can go to like a bookstore where it's nice and quiet. So if you if you scream there, then everybody can definitely hear you. And you're also going to piss a lot of people off who are trying to read Moby Dick. Um, so meet in a public place. Um, and your first transaction with the person, don't make it a big transaction. I mean, it should be common sense. Don't go there with $400 and uh, hope for the best. Um, while more than likely nothing bad will happen... Uh, don't take the chance, man. If there's a possibility that it could happen, you know, don't take that chance. And more importantly, once you make that first connection with the person, whether they respond to you and they send you an email, um, I always ask for a phone number right away. You know, give me your phone number, I'll call you, we'll talk about it on the phone. Most people aren't comfortable doing that. I don't know why. It's this new digital age where nobody's af everybody's afraid to talk to people. They go into the grocery stores and they bag their own groceries and they don't want to talk to the cashier. Same goes with uh, online. Nobody wants to talk to anybody. It's ridiculous. Get their phone number, especially when there's, you're transferring money and if you're going to buy large sums of silver or gold. Uh, you know, Get their phone number. Talk to them. Hear their voice. Feel them out. If they're shady or shysty, don't do the deal. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If something about it gives you the heebie-jeebies, don't do the deal. Cancel it. Back out. Go another way. Somebody will come along. Uh, somebody will come along and uh, give you what you want, and they'll be happy, and you'll be happy. I will say, I've been doing Craigslist stuff almost since day one. I've bought everything from 
uh, movie tickets, concert tickets, not movie tickets, concert tickets and uh, sporting event tickets, all the way to ammunition. I've bought ammunition on there. Um, so, I mean, there's, and I've never had a bad deal. Knock on wood, I've never once had a bad deal. I've never felt uncomfortable. I've never felt like this could be my last day. <clears throat> um, so just do your due diligence. Make sure you get their phone number. Uh, hear their voice. Talk to them. Meet them in a public place that's not a parking lot. And make sure your first transaction is something small. Um, you know, buy a little bit of silver or gold off of them and uh, go from there. I mean, you can even meet them at your local coin shop. So, you know, the options are unlimited. Uh, and it's a fair deal for you. And it's a great deal for them. They're going to get spot. You're going to get silver at spot. And that's a win-win all around. Um, so I made sure to tell them in the ad too, hey, look, I'm not in this to make money. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm in this to save for my future. Uh, if you want to help a young guy save and make some money in the process, then send me an email. And uh, sure enough, I got some emails. So that's my idea. Uh, that's something I've been doing for a couple weeks. I wasn't sure if I was going to share it, but uh, why not? I mean, why? Am I, I don't know why I decided that I wasn't going to. I guess I thought if there was anybody in the Philly area that they would jack all my silver guys and... Um, so who knows if you if you are in the Philly area, which is where I'm from, and uh, you're gonna do it on Craigslist, uh, I'm gonna come and find you and I'm gonna beat you down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, uh, check it out, guys. This, you guys should find, uh, especially the newer guys. You got 50 bucks. It's an easy way for you to get 50 dollars of silver in your hand that day at a very cheap price. And if you do find silver on Craigslist using my method. Um, Share it down below. Uh, make a video about it. Share it. Share it with other people. Get it out there. Let people know that hey, you can buy silver and gold on Craigslist, you know, without the middleman, and you can save a boatload of money. So Craigslist for the win, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, I just woke up, so my voice might sound a little funky, but uh, yeah, I got two bucks and I got five. Hopefully on the way next week. So and this is all at spot. Um, you can't you can't go wrong paying spot for uh, silver. Damn, my videos are always long. I'm sorry. I ramble. I talk a lot of shit. Probably repeat myself a lot too. Alright, YouTube. Uh, have a good weekend. Later.